Hi there and welcome. This is Roger V, founder of Swift Cloud. And in this quick video, we're going to give you a basic overview of our electronic signature system. Note this video is not the comprehensive video uh, or the full every feature training. This is the 10 minute setup version. So we're going to set up just the basics. And for a lot of clients, this is a great place to start and maybe all that you need. So note that our system works similar to WordPress in that we use short codes. Let me show you what I mean. On the back end, in our system, we have a document editor that is similar to WordPress and the other text editor. And on it, we've got short codes. We also have a short code generator right here so that you don't have to remember what the short codes are. On the front end, what the client sees will be this signature field, something like that. They can draw their name. If they wanted to, they could also just something like this. Most typically, after signature, we'll send them back to a page on your website. In some cases, you may choose to send them to payment and then from payment back to your website. However you choose to do it, that's all fine. You've got options as to where we send them after signature, but most typically, we send them to some other page after they have signed this document. It's a pretty straightforward system. Let me show you how to get set up really quickly. First thing you should do is set up a, a thanks page on your website and you want to include some language that says something like this. Thanks, you're all set, we've got your document. Please proceed to payment or something like that, right? So here's an example of uh, just a very simple, reassures the client that, that you have received their electronic signature. So what you'll want to do is, uh, if you haven't, go ahead and get signed up. So here's our electronic signature. You can review the, the, some of the features and uh, in a moment I'll go into some of what these mean and you can, this is our, our spring 2018 pricing, you can choose various terms here as you see fit and kind of choose the package that's best for you. Note that all of our packages have a 60 day money back unconditional guarantee, zero hassle whatsoever. So use your best guess and if you need to upgrade or downgrade or something like that, don't worry about it. We'll guarantee that you like the results. So let's take 10 minutes and get you set up. Go ahead and take a moment now and set up a thank you page on your website that the client or customer will see after they have signed your documents. And your goal is just to reassure them that you've got their documents and that they're all set. If you want, you can also send them to payment. If, uh, if you want to send them directly to PayPal or something like that or whatever your checkout system is, that's also an option. Once you are logged in, you will uh, open up the document that you want to get signed in some sort of copy and pasteable format. Hopefully you've got that in, in Microsoft Word or an HTML file or a PDF that you can copy from, something like that. Most of the time, most of our clientele have an existing document that they want to get signed. In a moment, I'll show you a few more options, but that's what most clients need. After you have signed up for Swift Cloud, you'll see a page that looks something like this. Let's, in this case, go ahead and just click this. I'll show you these other two options in a moment, but for now, go ahead and just click this and call it whatever you want, e-signable. And it's gonna direct us into that document. As you can see, it looks like a standard uh, text editor. In this tool, we've got a short code generator, and the very first option is Quick Start Setup. Go ahead and click that. And what it'll do is, before you even paste anything, this will give you a great little starting place. It has all the basics, as you can see, just to get you started. And then from here, you can further modify. So just so that you don't need to remember what the various short codes are, they're all in here. And we're going to continue to refine this. We're going to add things like state-based drop-downs and stuff like that. So you've got handy tools to uh, generate your documents quickly. Now, as I mentioned, you would need that thank you page. Uh, go ahead and paste that in here. This is the most common option. Let's go ahead and just copy and paste that into this space. Like so, this is what the user experience flow is going to be. And then we just want to decide what's going to happen after uh, people sign. I'll go into the, the workroom concept in just a moment, but just for now, leave this as new workroom for each signer. As people sign documents, most commonly, you'll get an email with a PDF, and you could also email that to other people on your staff or something like that. The signer will also get an email with a, t with a PDF attachment of the document that they signed. And for legal reasons, it's very important that they have access to the document that they signed. Next, in Swift Cloud, both parties will have it saved to a mutually shared workroom within Swift Cloud. So a workroom is basically a folder that the two of you share. This is especially helpful for, uh, let's say, ongoing account 
based uh, activity or let's say financial services where the user might have to upload a bunch of photos or copies of the tax return or something like that. That workroom is shared between you and social. So anybody who, so if the client uploads uh, documents to that workroom, it's going to show for you automatically. Last, both parties are added to each other's address book, which looks something like this. You, you'll be able to uh, export this list at any time. This is a, uh, a mock-up here for programming purposes, but basically it looks like this. It's just a list of everybody, and it'll show you the details of that uh, person's history and uh, give you some options about uh, the workrooms that you share together. Once you're done with that, just hit Save, and you can hit Preview. And that's the URL that you want to send your users to. Once they sign this, it's going to send them back to your website, to that thank you page, whatever you've chosen. That's the basic 10-minute setup uh, for the most basic version of electronic signature. Now I'd like to cover where to get more additional help and additional training for more advanced options, uh, which is here on swiftcloud.ai forward slash support. If you're on the main website and you click support, uh, support home, you'll see that, and then here you can search for anything. Next, let me show you just a little bit more about Swift Cloud. So all signers, all of your documents and all of your assets as we continue to develop more software will be stored on this drive page. And from here you can add additional documents, signatures, uh, signable items, that kind of thing. Uh, envelopes are a bundle of related documents. So if you've got, let's say, six different documents or you wanted to do a sales proposal that had some boilerplate text about your company and then, let's say, a specific sales proposal and then a contract that was signable and followed by an invoice for them to pay, all of that could be bundled into one experience called an envelope. Uh, folders are really just for your own use and uh, basically a workroom is just a shared folder. When a document is signed, a workroom is created. So here's one for a signer named John Doe. Of course, I got an email. It looks like something like this. It's got a bunch of the data of the input form. And then in addition to that, it has an actual attached uh, PDF. Next, I want to touch on uh, signable images and PDFs. So if we upload a, a W9, it's going to look something like this. And we just go here to this tab, e-signable version. And if we do, it's going to look something like this. It's going to dump some fields on it. And uh, up here, we can add fields, which is similar to the shortcode system. And we simply drag them to where we need them to be. I can even uh, extend them if I wanted to. Uh, here we've got a signature field. And just drag that into position. So this will match when this document is done it will match exactly the W9 and we're doing that as you can see by overlaying this on top of the the uh, image so if we hit preview it's gonna look something like this and here we can sign the document like so and scroll all the way down and hit sign and send and it'll look normal it'll look like just a regular uh, signature Oh, I need an email here so email is currently uh, required. So if I go back, fill in an email, click sig sign. To see all the people that have signed your document, simply click on contacts. Here we have got John Doe. So we try and grab a photo if we can. In this case, it's a fake email, so of course there's no photo. Uh, but the system is truly social. This is a true social platform. So as we continue to refine this and add more tools, uh, if John Doe logs in and makes changes to his profile, uh, such as connects it to Facebook, then we're going to automatically fish a, a photo out of Facebook and start to build a profile of your clientele and customers uh, for you. And that'll help with marketing and messaging and all sorts of things. Here on the top, you've got a couple different views and a link to the accounting, which is not yet working, but uh, coming soon. And you've also got an option to view your trashed files as well as templates. So if you click on templates, you'll see a file that looks something like this. And here, these TAN files, these are specific to you. Nobody else can see these. And uh, down here, we've got a global library. And uh, down the road in the near future, in the summer of 2018, we'll have company templates. Hope that helps you. Welcome aboard. For more advanced help, uh, by all means, first check our, uh, our help system because we are believers in video as often as possible and recorded webinars and that kind of thing. And if that doesn't help, then by all means uh, open a support request and we'll record a video 
and then create a support article and then get you that article, which isn't personal. We do that so that we only have to, have to answer the question once. Thanks for your interest in Swift Cloud and welcome aboard. We look forward to helping you.